So there's niches and then there's core. And a lot of people use this term, these terms interchangeably and they're not interchangeable. Cores are your most ardent fans and supporters. They'll promote for you, possibly support you, and each niche has a core. Okay? Each interest group has the people who are most interested and organized around that interest group. Okay? And those are the people that you want to go after first. So for instance, so you have graffiti writers. Actually, what the core is, is, and this is, I know, hilariously stupid and easy, the core of graffiti writers are the graffiti writers in the film Bomb-It. Okay? Those are the people who are going to be most interested initially in, in seeing the film get out there through their own ego. You know? So for instance, in a narrative film, if you have stars, one of the niches so are going to be the fans of those stars. Okay? So a lot of the stuff that I'm using for Bomb-It, which is a documentary, is directly applicable to most narrative films, if not all. So you have a core audience of your film, and your core audience is actually composed of as many core audiences as you have niches. Okay? So say you have three, and I'm going to show this by example, if you have three separate niche audiences, each of those will have a core, and then each of those comprise the core audience for your film. For instance, in Bomb-It, the three cores that we have, we have the graffiti writers in the film, we have hip-hop heads, and then we have the fans of the writers in the film. Each of them are distinct because this, essentially the niche of this are graffiti writers around the world. This is fans of graffiti and lovers of street art and graffiti around the world. And this larger audience is the hip-hop audience. Okay, but the hip-hop heads, does anyone know what a hip-hop head is? These are basically people who actually argue about whether there's four elements of hip-hop or 20 elements of hip-hop or nine elements of hip-hop and actually know what an element of hip-hop is. So, and would know that graffiti is an element of hip-hop as is rapping, as, in, as is DJing. Anyway, those people who'd be engaged in that conversation would be a hip-hop head and those people are relatively accessible to us and we felt that those within the hip-hop world we could, within the huge hip-hop world, we could target that small circle of people. 